Happy, it's a special place for me. As you mentioned last year, we won the rally, but uh, more than that, uh, it's also here that in 2008, uh, I did my first rally in World Championship. Uh, at the time, I was still in the junior category, and uh, I also got, at the time, my first victory uh, in junior, and uh, I remember that like a dream. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great atmosphere, a lot of uh, fun everywhere, and uh, the ceremonial start in Guanajuato is the best of the year, so I think every driver enjoyed to come back here, and uh, especially myself. Yeah, really good. Uh, we expected first day quite difficult, quite tough because uh, we're going to have to start second on the road and here it's a lot of loose gravel so for sure we'll be at disadvantage, of course even worse for Yarimati. But um, yeah, it's, uh, we've seen this morning in the check down that still we have a good pace and uh, uh, the, the time this morning were quite good. Of course the rally then it's always a different story than check down but uh, I'm, I'm quite confident and um, I'm sure that even if it will be a bit harder than in the past with these new rules we can do it. I think we are all excited to be in Guanajuato for the ceremonial start. Maybe not really for the stage because it's a tricky one, only one case, but uh, quite narrow street, uh, very uh, slippery on this uh, concrete cube. So it's um, it's uh, not an easy one, but the atmosphere is just amazing, and that uh, we all want to to take part. I think my fans and everyone know me now, and they know that when I start a rally, it's not to finish second. So. Definitely, I come here in Mexico to try to be back uh, on the best place of the podium. Um, bon, mais ouais, euh, de retour au Mexique, un rallye spécial pour nous qui nous a pas mal réussi pendant le passé, l'année dernière euh, avec la première victoire au général, mais aussi euh, depuis 2008 où euh, j'ai effectué ici mes débuts en mondial. C'était euh, dans la catégorie junior à l'époque et euh, j'ai le souvenir de ce rallye. Euh, c'était déroulé comme dans un rêve avec notre première victoire, donc ça restera toujours un rallye spécial qui reste dans mon cœur. Et euh, ben voilà, je suis impatient d'en découdre, d'être de retour aux avant-postes. Le dernier rallye s'est pas passé idéalement pour nous, mais c'est que le début de saison et on est de retour sur une surface que j'apprécie beaucoup, la terre. Donc comptez sur nous pour, pour tout donner et l'objectif c'est la victoire. Ah, okay, of course, it gives a good confidence, good, uh, good feeling, and good boost uh, coming over here. There's a sound. It's nice to be a championship leader, but there's a little punishment also that, and, and it means you are opening the the, uh, the stages for the first day in uh, in the next rally, and, and that's what can happen to me here. That I will be opening the road. There's a lot of pollution, a lot of a lot of loose gravel on the top of the surface. And uh, normally after that, when you start to remove the, the loose gravel, you start to get a bit more grip, which means that car by car creating better grip, and then the guys who are starting further behind should have uh, better conditions. But that's the way it is. I need to just uh, cooperate with that on the first day, and then try to fight back on the next two days. Car felt good. I mean, no, nothing special, but just a fine tuning, a little bit trying with some of the clicks, and uh, but nothing special. Uh, happy with the car, and. Uh, just uh, 
do a little bit fine tuning with the setup uh, because the rally will start with the tarmac stage and uh, when you drive with the gravel suspension you need to try to uh, compensate the chassis movement for the tarmac so that's what we're going to do for the first opening stage of the rally. Yeah, the Guanajuato is um, it has the best ceremony start in the whole World Rally Championship. Approximately you will have around 80,000 people over there and you just try you start the the rally with the between the between the people you know the people are just as close as possible to the car on the ceremony start but then we have a stage right directly after that where okay then the people are, are more control and more on the side but still there are a lot of people uh, watching the stage also it's driven in the darkness with the with the lamp box on the bonnet and you it should should look good with the with the lights over there yes i i can memorize the stage quite well so you you start Hep in left, over the crest, 20 meters, down, flat left, you have to start braking early because you go to the tunnel and normally there's a right hand away to the water, 30 meters, another medium right, coming out from the tunnel, very very long right, flat, and then 50 braking, left, uh, medium left tight and speed at the end, then around 50, flat left, around 100 and medium right, then you have 150, uh, flat left, Break 20 braking on the roundabout, go all the way around about, and then flat left, 150, finish uh, medium right. Ja joo, ralli on nyt tosiaan ensimmäinen sorakilpailu tulossa ja on hieno lähteä tietysti sarjan johtajana. Tietysti siitä tulee pieni rangaistus, että joutuu avaamaan reittiä, mutta ei mitään. Siinä varmasti ensimmäisenä päivänä, kun siellä on paljon irtosoraa, niin vähän kärsitään ja me joudun niinku Menee sen mukaan, että varmaan häviän siinä aikaa, mutta sitten on kaksi päivää aikaa taka, tata, niin taistella takaisin sijoitusta. Ja jos me kolme joukkoa ajan tässä kilpailussa, olisin tosi tyytyväinen, että se on niin sillä sarjan kannalta, äh, sarjan kannalta hyvä. Että, niin, niin. Ja sitten tänään tietysti seremonia startti on, on maailman makei, aloitan kuon huotosta. Siellä tulee olemaan tota, no varmaan 80 000 ihmistä ja siihen. Ihmiset on niinku todella innoissaan siellä ja siihen perään sitten ajetaan erikoiskoe, jossa on pari tunnelia ja, ää, ja, ja sitten vähän puutama hidas mutka, aika lyhyt, että 1,6 kilometriä, mutta se ajetaan vielä valo, lisävalo päälle, sitten tässä tulee olemaan aika hienon näköistä. Niinku, et toivotaan, että saadaan hyvää, kuvaa, myö, kuvaa, hyvää videokuvaa, valokuvia ja, ja se, että ihmiset nauttii siitä. Well, uh, it's obviously running in uh, very high altitude and it's uh, first gravel rally of the season. It's very warm, so, uh, but uh, we prepare ourselves with nothing special. I mean, we are training hard throughout the whole year, so uh, to be in a good physical shape is important, especially with these long stages. So, uh, but anyway, nothing, uh, nothing more than uh, normally. Yeah, the car feels really well. Uh, we were one, two and three on the results, so a huge good result and a good start for, for Volkswagen so we feel comfortable we have a good car we know and um, the engine is strong so um, no we're, we're very happy so far yeah everybody is talking about the starting ground auto so uh, really looking forward to tackle that tonight and see how uh, how crazy the Mexican fans are Rally Mexico will be a very difficult loop Det er et helt nytt løp for mig, og det er første grusløp på sesongen, og vi er veldig høyt toppe. Vi er over 2,5 meter, så for bilene er det veldig tøft med motoren, og også er det veldig varmt. Det er 30 grader, så det, det hjelper å drive med den treningen jeg har gjort nå i, når det har vært vinter i Norge, så jeg føler mig veldig klar. Yeah, Rally Mexico is always a very special rally with very special conditions. It's uh, it's a very high altitude, and uh, but we won the rally last year, the first time coming here, as we were well prepared, and we expect that we are even better prepared this year. So, but uh, competition will be prepared as well. So we tried really to win the rally again this year, but the rally is uh, the exciting thing. Rally is that everything can happen. So we'll go and see. No, the shakedown went very well, and but it's nothing really where you can uh, judge the competition. We ended up in the time schedule one, two, three. What is good, but uh, nobody is pushing too hard because nothing to win or to lose. Just uh, to really confirm the setup, they are all happy with the car, so 
I think there's not a big work to prepare the cars for tomorrow, so we're very confident. Yeah, the, the ceremonial start in Mexico is always the best ceremonial start of the whole season. It's, it's, in, a, it's in, a, in an old town, it's an historic town. It's really fantastic. The stage goes through the, through the mountain, uh, through the tunnels, and there are graffitis on the tunnels, and the spectators are fantastic. There are more than 100,000 people, and uh, the whole Mexico is so exciting about WRC, and it all comes together there in the ceremonial start. It's a fantastic atmosphere, and it's, uh, it's a great place to be on the Thursday night. Yeah, the Rally Mexico is also very special for Volkswagen because this is Volkswagen is so big in Mexico and with so long times so when you go on those roads you see the old Beatles, you see the old buses and uh, it, it's fantastic to see and Volkswagen is so big in Mexico for us it is the second home rally beside the Rally Germany and uh, the plant, the, uh, the Volkswagen plant is so close to here, it's just three kilometers and there's so many fans and we want to do our very best for all the employees of Volkswagen in Mexico and it's really a home rally for us. Hey, rally Mexico is a very special rally, uh, not least in the high Meeres. The service park is already on about 2,000 meters and the Sonderprüfung is on about 2,500 meters. Man verliert sehr viel Motorleistung and man muss sehr gut vorbereitet sein. But the Rally Mexico is auch besonders durch die Fans. Die in Mexico, the Mexicaner sind dermaßen Rally Fans and sehr sportliche Fans. And uh, it's einfach an event that man gerne hinkommt and that man natürlich dann auch gerne gewinnt. Auch die, die Siegerehrung is sehr speziell, is the best of the ganze Jahres. And da auf dem Podium zu stehen, is je, jedes Jahr ein sensationelles Gefühl. Wenn wir letztes Jahr im ersten Anlauf die Rallye Mexiko gewonnen haben, ist natürlich auch das Ziel dieses Jahr, das zu wiederholen. Aber das Gute bei der Rallye ist, dass alles passieren kann und man kann nichts voraussagen. Also wir lassen uns überraschen. Aber wir sind gut vorbereitet. Yeah, not so bad.